Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from grayflorals.com and if you're new here be sure to subscribe so you can see the rest of my videos when I upload them. Today I'm doing my kill a kit for my how to kill a kit with style August kit. Uh, I didn't get to work with this kit a lot until the end of the month so most of these layouts aren't up yet but they will be up throughout September so I do have process videos for all of them and you guys will be able to see them soon if not already. So I think I created five layouts this month. Things were very hectic in August, as most of you probably know. Um, but this is what I've made and I'm really happy. Most of these were created in one day. The ones that I have here were created in one day. There's another one that's having some issues, so I have it between some heavy objects. Um, so that one's not with me right now, but it was on the Spiegel Mob Scraps channel. And I'll have them all linked down below in case you're interested in watching the individual process videos. Um, and again, most of the ones I have today aren't up yet, but as soon as they are up, I will try to update the description with them, with the process videos, because these are some of my favorite layouts. Uh, so my August kit was very, uh, it was all over the place with colors. It had the teals, the peaches, um, lots of neutral colors as well. Uh, and I used a bit of it up. I wanted to do a lot more crafting this month. Um, but I'm getting back into it slowly. So this is what I created most recently. This one was a fun mixed media layout. Uh, not up yet that I know of. I'm trying to think of my schedule uh, for when these go live. But this was a 6x6 six six fix um, layout where I use 6x6 six six papers to create this little pie chart. And I saw this on one of the paper issues challenges. So if you guys don't follow paper issues on Facebook, they have a ton of inspiration over there. If you're looking for more, definitely check them out. So this one was really fun to make, and I believe it was Susanna who uh, challenged me to use one of the papers I called ugly during my Pink Fresh Studio unboxing, and this was one of them, this little background paper here. Um, it's that mint green with the little like swirly boxes. It's just my border piece, but I did use it, um, and I actually used it the whole sheet, um, which I don't normally do. I usually will gut a paper, but my mixed media paper was warping quite a bit, so I decided I would sacrifice this one since I do have two of every paper from that collection uh, because that's how the collection came. Uh, I would decide to just back the whole thing and it's still already warping. So this one, like my other one that I mentioned before, my picture, uh, that was a mixed media layout and it's just, it went like this while I was gone and just curled up into like a little rolled paper. So I'm trying to flatten these out. It's a little bit annoying, but once they're in an album sleeve, they will, and then under the weight of the rest of your album, they'll do pretty well uh, flattening out. So this one was really, really fun to make, uh, and I'd been eyeing this idea for a while, and I just picked a photo and decided to do it. Um, so this process video will hopefully be out in the beginning of September. But I really love it. And again, a spring color theme, which I didn't mean for all of these to be matchy-matchy, but they ended up being it. This is a sneak peek. This is part of a Insta Hop you'll see, so I'm not going to talk much about that one. That was all you're going to see of it, so if you want to go back and look at it, please do. Um, but you'll be able to find that on my Instagram. It's part of an upcoming hop, and I'm not allowed to talk about it too much. So be on the lookout for that one in September, but again, really fun to make. Uh, but you can find more details about that one on Instagram and a ton more product ideas. Uh, this one I also made the same day I made all these other ones. This one I reached outside of my stash for, uh, let's see, this background paper was outside of my stash, but for the good of all there is... I just needed to pick a different paper. I originally had the Maggie Holmes Hello paper as the background and it was just so, so busy. So busy and I couldn't take it. Um, so I decided to gut that paper. Um, I didn't glue anything down to it so I still have it. Which you'll see in a moment when I show you what's left in my kit. But I did pull in outside of my kit and if you guys know there's no rules to kits. Most of the time I bring in other things. Like I never put alphabets in my kits. So if you see alphabets on pages. Um, they're not part of my kits. This was actually a sticker not from my kit. This was not in my kit. <laughs> Most of this, this washi tape's not in my kit. This might have been in my kit. Doilies aren't in my kit. This little bow wasn't in my kit. I tend to go outside the uh, realm of my kit every time I do this. But again, I'm using stash and it doesn't matter as long as I'm sticking things down. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this one. I used up this beautiful floral paper and then this light blue paper that I just randomly had. Glad that stuck down. And I did use some 6x6 six six Kaiser Craft papers back here that weren't part of my kit. 
and I did some Heidi Swap Color Shine on a lot of these pages. I did it on this one as well, which these were in my kit. Um, and again, I'll talk about those once I go through the rest of my kit. So this one was super fun. I wanted to make a layout about, so I already scrapbooked this whole event. It's when we went to a museum, but my boyfriend took this photo of me. So I decided to talk about how much I like exploring and being curious with the world and stuff like that. So that's what this one's going to be once I finish the journaling. Um, but I glued down the photo before I wrote down the date. So gotta look that one up. But I really love how this one turned out. If you guys didn't know, blue is one of my favorite colors to not only wear, but also scrapbook with. Um, and you might be able to tell from my channel, but I tend to scrapbook with a lot of different colors, so maybe not, but this one was one of my favorites this month. And then I also made this one. Now this one's like the complete opposite of this one. This one's all pink while this one was all blue, uh, but that's okay. I finished up most of the paper for this one, which is from Pebbles. This paper, um, which my process video isn't up for this one yet either, but if I'm here, I'll measure it on the screen for you. I measure it during my process video too, because I tried turning this um, floral paper on its side so it went this way but I measured this paper and it's 11 and a half by 12 and I have no idea why the heck it would be like that I believe I opened these I think they're creative memories papers um, not too long ago when I was reorganizing my scrap room so before my craft room tour and I'm just confused as to why they're not the proper size um, I don't I'll probably just leave it it won't bother me once it's in an album but this one was fun too. This is me and my cat. Um, this is when I first started working from home. So I said new coworker, which I thought was cute. Um, but a very pink layout. Uh, and I kind of did this because of my shirt. I went with the reds instead of the cooler tones. And there are cooler pinks in here, but not blues or purples. Um, so those two are kind of opposite layouts, which is fun. And then another thing that I created with my kit, um, partially with my kit, I should say, that I no longer have is a pocket letter that I sent um, for a pocket letter swap and so I'll have my um, unboxing when mine comes um, if it's not up already I don't know when it's going to be coming so this might be um, done before that comes or vice versa so I'm really excited about that so I created five layouts with my kit this month and now I'll show you guys what is left of it which is a ton um, I still have like this whole plethora of embellishments um, you guys saw me pick the kit out in live format um, if you guys would like that again, please let me know. Um, I don't know if it, by the time this goes up, my September kit will already be picked out because September starts the day after this goes up. So I don't know if I'm going to do a live kit this time only because one, my throat's been hurting. So even making this live video was kind of hard. Uh, you can probably tell a little bit. Um, so we'll see. Um, I might do something different because sharing a kit's fun, but making it together is funner, I should say. And I know you guys want to make a kit live with me, so maybe we'll do something. Uh, but watch out on my Facebook page. That's where I announce live streams as well as over on my Instagram. Um, and I've only done live streams here on YouTube, but I know I've had some requests for live streams on Facebook since it's a little bit easier to get the notifications and hop on and hop off and actually talk. Uh, but I've never done one of those before, so we'll see. I still have a majority of the Pink Fresh Ephemera Pack that I included in my kit, and I've included this in most of my kits. Uh, from this past run of this series and I am staying on for the next three months I've already talked about it so you guys probably already know but um, some ladies are taking a break and then they'll come back um, I'll probably take a break during the holidays um, because I usually do vlogmas um, if you guys don't know what vlogmas is you can check out my previous years of vlogmas on my channel I have playlists of it um, it's super embarrassing but I essentially film every single day of December and then upload it the next day. So whether it's crafting, I usually did shop with me's or clean with me or just sharing regular crafty tips or just Christmas stuff like making cookies and stuff, uh, all sorts of stuff. But if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe and stay tuned because December is right around the corner, guys. I need to get started on Christmas cards and I'm kind of skipping Halloween and uh, Thanksgiving cards, but those are also some of my favorites to make. So. Hopefully I'll have some card shares coming up because I really want to make more. Um, I got a couple new stamp sets in, as you guys saw in my last haul, and I'm going to start stamping those as soon as I'm done with this video um, so I can start coloring them for cards. But I'm just showing you guys all the papers I have left over. I still have my entire inspiration paper left over, which kind of makes me sad, but I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do with my kit after I'm done with it because um, usually I just put it away um, I used a little bit of this one, which is good because that's been in my stash for a while. 
And then I did not use either of these ones from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, but I think what I decided to do with what's left over, which is, I don't know, 10 papers maybe? I do make large kits. Um, and I did plan on making more with this kit, but you guys know what happened. Uh, life just got in the way, sort of. So I think what I'm going to do is start making some page kits. Uh, Janet over at RTS Scrapbooking. If you guys haven't checked her out, definitely check her out. Uh, if you're a seasoned scrapbooker or a new scrapbooker, she has so much information. Um, and I love her videos. But I think I'm going to start making page kits. Um, I think Nicole Jones also does this. She's at Nicole Jones 911 um, here on YouTube. But you essentially just pick out a couple sheets of paper. So this would be for one scrapbook page. I could even cut this apart and break it into multiple scrapbook pages. So I would know that I wanted to use this and this together and these and then that'd be in a little baggie and then once I find a picture that goes with these I'll go through my page kits and then pick one out. If you guys would like me to start doing small page kits instead of monthly kits like I've been doing let me know. Um, it's something I've never tried but I think sounds like a great idea for faster scrapbooking because um, as we know we love looking at pretty paper but we need to start making, uh, start documenting memories. Um, so we'll see where that goes. But this is all the paper I've left. Um, I'm excited with what I got done, despite all the things that happened. But that's the 12 by 12 papers. Uh, I had this sticker sheet I used a couple off of, maybe two, three. I don't know how many I started with. Didn't use any of those. Did not use any of these. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I used a bunch of these. I used these in my pocket letter and on one layout. The one that I don't have a picture for that's on the Spiegel Mom Scraps channel. I did use those on there. Maybe I used them on one of these. Maybe not. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe not. I didn't use any of those. I don't think I used this at all. But maybe I did on my comment layout. Anyway, that's fine. I used one of these stickers from Studio Calico, a bunch of these heart stickers, which I don't think were in my original stash and they just ended up in my kit that's on my floor next to me, a bunch of the Echo Park paper pad. I'm running on scraps for some of the patterns, so we'll see how that goes later on. None of these were used, which is fine. A bunch of my heart stickers. I thought I was going to be able to finish it. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 stickers left. These will be gone soon. Um, I think I used them on every single layout except my, oh no, I used them on two layouts from the ones I showed you, but still using them as much as I can um, because one, they're adorable. And if you guys haven't checked out Pretty Little Studio, you definitely have to. Very affordable supplies. Um, I have a bunch of Project Life cards left. I did use some on this layout. This one, I used one here and one here. And what I actually ended up doing was adding more to my kit. These were not in my original kit, um, but I bought a Project Life card set, which I did not need when Joann's was having a sale. I don't even remember what it's called. It's one of the tiny kits, but I used a couple of those. Used a couple of these little stickers from A Beautiful Mess. Then I have a little border strip that I did not use. I only use the Sweet Mint Tidy Swap color, which is absolutely fine. This lid does not go on right either, which is a little concerning. But uh, then I also have, why do these look so different? I think this might be clogged. Maybe not. Maybe I'm making things up. I don't want to mess with it right now. But I only use the Sweet Mint color. I did not use the Ocean color, which again, fine. I used other mixed media items like my Distress inks and... I use shimmers on my Speak Mom Scraps one. Uh, I feel like there was another thing that I'm missing from this, but I don't think I used any of these Speak Mom Scraps sequins only because they fell to the bottom of my kit organizer, so I didn't even know they were there. I did use these ones, however. This In Your Dreams has similar ones in No Llama Drama. I just picked this one instead of this one, um, which is perfectly fine. I did use sequins, though, just not those ones. I used at least this washi tape, and I feel like I used this washi tape, but no. Oh yeah, I did. I used these three washi tapes. Um, I don't think I... I did use this blue one. So I used four washi tapes from my kit, and then several from my stash, including this super wide one from Scotch. And I used a bunch on the pocket letter, including my watermelon one. And again, I'll have that link down below since I no longer have it since I shipped it out. 
Let's see what else is in here. I have these, I think. Did I use any of these? Isn't this sad that I can't remember? And then I also have my magic mesh and this little tassel that Susan gave to me. But I didn't do any like harsh dark layout, so I didn't end up using this. But again, super cute. Plan on keeping it. Um, but again, this is my how to kill a kit with style kill a kit video. I did not kill the kit. I didn't have time to kill the kit, but I am happy with what I got to create. Um, creation is definitely a therapy of sorts. Um, so I'm super excited to continue on with this series. Making the kits themselves is also a really fun aspect to it. If you guys haven't tried making a kit, I definitely recommend it. I'm not a huge kit person, um, mainly because layouts don't take me long. Um, but I do see the benefits of having a kit. It's like shorter decision making, um, just saves you time and energy. And if you have a busier lifestyle, it might be the way to go. So that's it for August. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which of your layouts was your favorite, which of my layouts was your favorite. I'd have to say it's probably this one only because I've been trying to do this idea for so long. Um, you can see a lot more of the process once that video is up. And I also did some mixed media on the background, which is kind of crazy. I'm getting back into mixed media, which I know I have... Um, subscribers that are into it and that are into it. So that's why I do a variety of layouts. Um, not only because my style indicates that, but so do other people. So I hope you guys enjoyed all these layouts. I created all four of the ones I showed you um, in one day, like I said, in one evening, I should say, um, because I had a lot of filming to get done. But that's it for September. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out all the lovely ladies down below. Um, some of them will be leaving for a couple months from the series and then they'll be back when they're ready to join and get back into the kit making. So definitely check them out while you can and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.